good day to you. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you have a problem in your household with vermin? No, not the children, no. Rats, they run around, scurry around, get in your pantry, eat your food. And food is a very important commodity. Now, I have my own method of getting rid of vermin. I chase them out of the house with a rolling pin. But the landlady of the Salutation Inn, one of the most uh, well-known ale houses in Nottingham, had her own method in 1820 of getting rid of her vermin. And that is with arsenic. The only problem is rats don't tend to really want to eat arsenic unless you disguise it. Like a, a mother putting vegetables hidden amongst her children's food, she decided to add it to some oatmeal. Oh yes, rats love oatmeal. She's mixed it up and then left it in a little spot where she thought the rats might get it. On the floor, in the pantry, in the corner. They're always there, hanging around as they do. Unfortunately, there are other people living in this establishment, such as her 87-year-old mother, who wandered into the pantry one morning and... <gasps> Who's put oatmeal on the floor? It doesn't belong there. No, no, no. It belongs on the shelf, does it not? So she picked it up and put it back with the rest of the oatmeal, mixed it back up and left it there, where Mrs. Green returned later and uh, prepared it for the family meal. Because mm -mm, we all love a bit of, bit of oats, don't we? Yes. So there the family sat around the table, eating away. Mm -hmm. Um, not just a family also, but there's the local brewer, the tap boy, um, the grandparents were there, all munching away. And then, strangely enough, felt rather ill. What could possibly be wrong? Oh, cramps. Oh, oh, oh my word. Strangely colours. Oh, what's going on? Well, Mrs Green realised pretty quick what was going on and she thought quickly as well. She quickly, what she did? And she mixed some vinegar and some oil and said, get that down your neck quick. This is to induce vomiting. So they were... And out it came. And most of the poison came with it, along with the food, all over the floor. Um, the doctor was called for, the aptly named Dr. Payne. And Dr. Payne arrived and he helped them by basically saying, just go to bed and rest, you'll be fine. And they were. They all survived. Well, apart from Grandad. A couple of days later, he's slipped away. Unfortunate. So whatever you do, um, do my method. Yes, I'd um, get a rolling pin, chase the rats, don't leave arsenic on the floor for any pet or member of the family to stumble across and eat. So uh, there the lesson is told, isn't it? Really? Oh. Oh. Oh.